what is the meaning of real exchange rate and how is the competitiveness of domestic products related to the concept of the real exchange so before telling about the real exchange rate let us write two lines about what is the nominal exchange rate nominal exchange rate is very simple so i say one dollar is equal to 70 rupees that is the relative price of two currencies between the two countries that is what the nominal exchange rate is let us just write that nominal exchange rate is the relative price of currencies between two countries so when I say that one dollar is equal to 70 rupees, right? So it would mean that an American can go to the foreign exchange market and can exchange this one dollar for 70 rupees or Indian can go to the foreign exchange market and can give 70 rupees and can get one dollar in return. That is the meaning of one dollar is equal to 70 rupees is. So I can I can tell that $1 is equal to 70 rupees this is the exchange rate or I can also write it in terms of 1 rupee is equal to X amount of dollars. We can say that also. So whichever definition we want to use, we can use that. We'll be using $1 is equal to 70 rupees definition uh, for this recording. Now what is real exchange rate? Real exchange rate is nothing but the ratio of the foreign prices to domestic prices. This is the ratio of the prices of the two countries, right? Uh, measured in the same currency. This is important. Measured in the same currency. Real exchange rate. Real exchange rate. So what is the meaning for this? The meaning is, it is the ratio of foreign domestic prices measured in the same currency measured in the same currency right but a price of foreign country is pf that is price of us dollars i mean price in us dollars p is the price of the domestic goods in my country so pf is the price is measured in us dollars Prices measured in US dollars. These are the prices measured in Indian rupee. Hmm? This small e is the nominal exchange rate. This is the nominal exchange rate. For example, like this, $1 is equal to 70 rupees. So supposedly, if I want to convert everything in Indian rupees, but a PF is in US dollars. I have to convert this into rupee. So I can multiply this PF with E. Uh, PF is in US dollars and this is $1 is equal to 70 rupees. So if I multiply this PF with E, then I'll be getting this price of the foreign goods in domestic currency. That is what it is. It measures the prices abroad. Prices abroad measured in rupees. 
prices abroad measured in rupees. Uh, P is already measured in rupees. So I'm saying that real exchange rate is the ratio of foreign to domestic prices. Foreign prices are PF. These were in US dollars, beta. Right? I've multiplied this with E. Then I have got the, the prices uh, or, or the goods which were measured in US dollars. Now those prices are converted into rupees now, EPF. Huh? Upon P. That is the prices in Indian rupee. So EPF upon P is the real exchange rate. EPF upon P is the real exchange rate. So this is measuring the prices abroad. Relative to whom? Relative to whom? When I say prices abroad, I mean US dollars. When I say home, I mean India or Indian rupee. Hmm? This is what the real exchange rate is. This is what the real exchange rate is. Now the thing is that two countries will be at purchasing power parity in case if R is equal to 1. In case if R is equal to 1. So when a unit of the domestic currency can buy the same basket of goods in, uh, in, the, in the foreign country, whether it is in home or abroad, it means that purchasing power parity is equal to 1. That is the real, real exchange rate is equal to 1. So please write this. I will tell you in the next recording what is the meaning of purchasing power parity. Abhi ke liye just write this. Now just think about it. If I say, if this R, which is EPF by P, that is greater than 1. So it would mean EPF is greater than P, right? So that would mean goods abroad are relatively more expensive than goods in India. Huh? So this would mean goods in US are more expensive than in than in India. Right. So just think about it. If everything else is constant, if everything else is same, and uh, if the if relatively goods are more expensive in US than the goods uh, in India, then don't you think that whether people are in US or in India, they will be rather demanding the cheaper goods. And who is selling cheaper goods? India is selling cheaper goods. So they'll be rather buying it from India only. No? So please write this. Hmm. Other things being equal, This implies that people both in India and US are likely to switch some of their spending
to goods produced in India. I'll explain this again. Just write this alongside. And this means... The competitiveness of Indian products is increasing. Now listen to me again. Beta EPF P se jada hai? Haan. EPF kya bata raha hai mujhe? EPF mujhe bata raha hai ke jo goods US mein hai, unka price kya hai? रुपी के टर्म्स में पी मुझे क्या बता रहा है जो गुड्स इंडिया में है उनका रुपी के टर्म्स में प्राइस क्या है तो ईपीएफ अगर पी से ज्यादा है तो इसका मतलब है कि जो यूएस में जो गुड्स है वो रिलेटिवली एक्सपेंसिव है एज कंपेयर टू जो कि इंडिया में गुड्स प्रोड्यूस हो रहे हैं किसी भी कंज्यूमर को महंगी चीज नहीं पसंद तो चाहे वो कंज्यूमर्स यूएस के हों या इंडिया के हों वो सारे के सारे इंडिया से बाय करने लगेंगे बिकॉज इंडिया के अंदर रिलेटिवली चीपर गुड्स बिक रहे हैं राइट right? सो so, इसका मतलब है कि हमारी कंपिटेटिवनेस बढ़ रही है हमारे गुड्स की कंपिटेटिवनेस बढ़ रही है दे आर चीपर नाउ एंड पीपल वुड वांट टू बाय माय प्रोडक्ट्स दूसरी बात सुनिए योर आर इज ग्रेटर देन वन यस आर इज ग्रेटर देन वन यस सो पीपल फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड यूएस दे आर बाइंग फ्रॉम माई कंट्री इंडिया यस डिमांड फॉर Indian goods is increasing. Yes. So when the demand for Indian goods is going to increase, what is going to happen? The what is going to happen to the price of Indian goods? It will increase. It is going to increase. As long as R is greater than one. we expect the relative demand for domestically produced goods increase therefore prices in domestic economy will increase right that means p is increasing so in in uh, epf by p in epf by p epf is constant so what is changing your p is changing uh, and you are saying that p is increasing so what is happening that p is p is going to increase that means your denominator is increasing if denominator is going to increase then what is going to happen it means that epf by p is going to fall so something which was greater than 1 now it is going to move towards 1 that is r is equal to e p f by p right beta so when p is increasing denominator is increasing so this was earlier greater than 1 right uh, earlier now when p increases denominator increases this is going to fall so it means that r is going to fall and uh, this is going to fall till when till i mean people are indifferent whether they are buying from india or abroad when will they be indifferent 
when the relative prices in both the countries is equal to one. So earlier R is greater than 1. Now because R is going to fall, so it will fall till when R becomes equal to 1. That is we are at purchasing power parity. So we'll talk about purchasing power parity in detail in the next class. Thank you, Peter.